This is Saurabh, and you're listening to my favorite talk show, The BG Show with Aditya. This is episode 209 on the 18th of May 2020 Virat Kohli is not just popular because he is a decent athlete but because he plays a sport which has become over the past for decades a popular sport in india his popularity is often shadowed by the sport he plays but what if this individual was playing a different sport if i ask a passer by who is the captain of the indian cricket team even if they have no idea what this sport is or they have not followed this sport they would immediately say virat kohli because of this individual's presence on all the digital media platforms and his antics on and off the field what if i was to ask the same passer by who is manpreet singh who is harmanpreet singh who is sunil chhetri who is sandesh jingan they would take a couple of minutes to even recall that do these names even exist are they even sports players that's the influence one sport has had on the psyche of the world yes maybe in the subcontinent part of the globe cricket is glorified more than any other sport and if you look at other parts baseball takes over football takes over so when we say who is sunil chhetri we would not know exactly yes he is popular but if you compare him to his more illustrious counterpart of the cricket genre he would not be as popular but if you say who is ronaldo who is messi the answer would be spontaneous the messis the ronaldos the peles and the current players in mbappes and the others are football players they are popular football players so this is how our attitude towards a sport is when it comes to football we hardly talk about indian football but when it comes to cricket we talk about somewhere between the cricket of other nations and india of course but let's get into an alternate universe over the past couple of months it's all been about what if what if this hadn't happened what if this had happened let's get into an alternate universe first what if Virat Kohli was not a cricket player he had chosen the sport of hockey that itself is a big thing because Virat Kohli chose cricket not because he is a good cricket player that comes over time but he chose cricket because of the craze created around that sport and Kohli and others exploiting that situation which means that no one would not watch the sport it would have the kind of attention that no other sport gets in india yes the likes of pv sindhu sania mirza vishwanathan anand have their fans and have their moments but when it comes to team sports cricket is the one which takes the major chunk of the pie that's not what we are here to talk about we are here to talk about an alternate universe what if the likes of manpreet singh sv sunil harmanpreet singh were playing cricket would they be as popular as they are not now we have to understand that popularity is relative 
how does an individual become popular apart from his own skills there is also a bit of involvement of the others let me read off some names and i want my listeners to message me as to what sport to these players belong midfielder chingling sana singh manpreet singh drag flicker harmanpreet singh pr shrijesh krishna b pathak gurinder singh amit rohidas surinder kumar birendra lakra rupinder pal singh vivek sagar prasad anil kant sharma who are these players i'll give you an hint they are they are from a sport which is technically india's national sport yet when we talk about these individuals the ones these are the contemporary players from this sport when we talk about hockey for us the current hockey team does not get the kind of attention as the hockey team in the 60s 70s and the 80s did but is there any sport in which our obsession with the individuals who played in the 60s 70s and 80s does not exist but in other sports we have moved on we have accepted the contemporary players so hypothesize if manpreet singh was an opener for the indian team in the sport of cricket and virat kohli was a drag flicker imagine the indian cricket players playing hockey running from one part of the field to the other trying to score that one elusive goal this growing obsession that the best football comes from either south america or europe is a little uncalled for it shows the faith which we do not have in the players of our own country yes country divide doesn't work in sports but that's how the contemporary world works so that's how we are going to discuss this as well i just read an article which talked about the top playing 11 of the indian cricket team but today i am going to devise a playing 11 which will include the best of the cricket team the hockey team and the football team yes these are sports which are better left off in their own backyard but for me i am going to combine the list of players who would imagine a team which has the best of the three sports and the alternate role they would play if given a chance so let's start let's have a team which has the best of all the three sports and it won't be to any specific position it would be more about who are the best yes the question would be are we leaving out a few individuals well i'll try my best to include all the players it would be a potent 30 player combination which means 10 players from each of the three teams which also means the teams which have existed since the 1930s would be a part of this playing 11 a dream playing 11 which just does not consist of one sport but three team sports in one go between the three sports who would be the captain of my team well in the world of cliches it would be by design and default virat kohli but for my team it would be manpreet singh who would be the vice captain we are going to pick a vice captain now from the football team and this is someone who i have watched over a long period of time and this would be sandesh jhingan as my vice captain who would be the third player in my team now looking at all the 
great players in all the three teams i would include in this context contemporary player but somebody who has been doing a great job at the same time which means that this individual can be a goalkeeper for all the three sports i know most of you would have a choice but my choice would not be that individual it would be somewhat of a surprise in fact i would have three individuals club together as the various goalkeepers of their team from football it is gurpreet singh gurpreet singh would be my goalkeeper slash wicket keeper if given a chance to play in other sports now the question comes what about an impact player a player who is able to get win across get the goals for the team get in cricketing terms the wickets and the runs for their team but football and hockey are more of team sports than cricket ever was so we are going to include harman preet singh as my mvp means harman preet singh in football plays the defender though he has never played this sport before in hockey he already plays the role of the drag flicker means he has an important role as far as the penalty corner is concerned and in cricket we have this term called the finisher with the player who comes in the last 10 overs and tries to score quick runs and make sure that the team is able to reach a certain target either by batting first or batting second so harman preet singh would be my finisher as in in all the three sports as in someone who can be relied upon to make the runs to get the goals and and make sure that the team is always in the pole position who would be my fifth option if there was a turn around and cricket players in a hypothetical universe in an alternate universe started playing hockey and football both how would that exactly carry out then i would include rohit sharma this individual rohit sharma would be my mid fielder in each of the two sports it would be an exciting prospect so look at the team i have gathered up till now manpreet singh as the captain from hockey sandesh jhingan as the vice captain from football gurpreet singh as the goalkeeper slash wicket keeper from football harman preet singh as the finisher and rohit sharma as the midfielder though the question is for some purists these three sports should be played in isolation means there cannot be a situation where a cricket player in his younger days had played football but switched to cricket or a football player had played cricket in his younger days but switched to football or a hockey player had played both football and cricket but eventually decided to shift to hockey but for me this is an alternate universe this is a universe where these players are capable of playing any of the sports possible so if in the alternate universe under one umbrella there is one organization which takes care of the players of all these three sports and there is hardly any difference between these for example if virat kohli gets injured can be replaced by another legend in akash deep singh from hockey means they can switch places in the sport they are proficient in means virat kohli goes over to hockey and akash deep singh goes over to cricket in the ideal world this is a situation which could be explosive which could be something which is not acceptable but in the current circumstances the first question in our mind has been what if so why not have a team why not have a potential pool of 
players who can play any of the three sports whenever required why don't we go into this alternate universe it would be something that everyone looks forward to now it's time for a short break stay tuned i welcome you back after the break i have named five of the top players and my listeners must be surprised that i haven't yet included their choices the obvious choice of we know who this obvious choice is so i want my listeners to message me who would be the next five players after this pool of five players let me remind you it's manpreet singh as the captain from hockey sandesh jingan as the vice captain from football kurpreet singh who can come up as the goalkeeper and if needed the likes of pr Shrijesh and Rishabh Pant can also alternate as football and hockey goalkeepers respectively. Then Harman Preet Singh is the finisher. He is usually the drag flicker, the one who plays a very important role during the time of penalties along with Rupinder Pal Singh. So he is my finisher and then I would include somebody who is well known but somebody whose popularity wanes in front of another popular individual let me tell you how popular cricket is not just when the players are on the field and do their job but off the field the craze that surrounds the sport because the influence that we get from these players that the fact that we allow the likes of virat kohli rohit sharma jaspreet bumrah kl rahul hardik pandya to influence us when they come for interviews there is the first interview that is published in every media possible if they give an interview on a digital platform the transcript of that interview is published in the print and the electronic media if virat kohli is sending a message about the current situation that we have to stay at home we have to obey the lockdown norms established by the administration many says that the message is flashed far and wide but what if this message was coming from the hockey players what if someone like rupinder pal singh had decided that he will also take part in this exercise of sending a message would we take that message seriously would we give someone like rupinder pal singh the same kind of respect or pseudo respect that we have for virat kohli it's a different story that these players have decided to concentrate on the sport rather than spend their time on these platform that is a different story but that's what the dif- difference is a virat kohli a rohit sharma and his contemporaries and the former players often spend time on these platforms not because they want to influence people to do the right thing the right way but because they exploit that situation that they know no matter what they say whether it's negative positive a message or or if they are engaged in the most mundane activities at their homes their videos and their messages will be flashed they will become popular whether they say something brilliant or whether they are engaged in some kind of controversies their names will be flash but virat kohli owes his existence to not just being an athlete but also because he chose a sport which had already created the craze in the minds of 
a certain population that does make a difference over the past few weeks when there has been discussion about restarting various sport it has been about starting the likes of NFL and NHL in US but when it comes to other parts of the world when it comes to India the first question has been when will the Indian T20 domestic world cup start will the Indian cricket board influence the international cricket council that don't play the world cup cancel the world cup instead play the domestic world cup the indian domestic world cup in lieu of that because of the heavy finances involved but not one discussion has been on whether the various hockey pro league tournaments should restart remember india were scheduled to play in europe while the european football domestic tournaments have started my question is why can't we have the same kind of reverence towards starting hockey as i have reiterated shows the hypocrisy of the various sporting bodies various individuals who masquerade as sports expert because the first question is should a particular sport called cricket restart in the non european world or should football restart in the european part of the world and that's the only question we've had on our mind for the last 8 to 9 weeks there has been this constant narrative that heavy losses would be suffered by the various stakeholders involved in the indian t20 domestic world cup up to crores whatever x y z amount but never have we even discussed the fact that what about the losses suffered by the other sporting associations what about hockey india what about the indian football federation do we still assume that the current hockey is a b plus side that they don't have the same pedigree and the influence as the hockey side of the 70s and 80s had just because india won the world cup and secured a gold in the 70s and the 80s and the current team hasn't been able to get these two coveted medals that is winning a world cup and getting a gold in either the asian games the commonwealth games or the olympics are all these the gold standard for me probably yes but that is not the final destination for me the current hockey team is full of talent it's better than the hockey team of the 70s and the 80s yes it's a matter of debate everybody has their own choice but i think hockey in the contemporary times is even more difficult as in it's not easy to score a goal you cannot score a goal outside a d penalty corners are not easy to escape because of the video referrals available I can tell you for sure if this current squad of the hockey team was present in the 70s and the 80s we would have won every world cup in that era we would have scored a olympic gold a commonwealth gold a asian team gold in all these tournaments it would have been so easy to score a goal i would have scored a goal from 100 meters outside the d and i would have smashed the ball through my hockey stick into the goal but it's not going to happen because most of these players were not present but as we are talking about the alternate universe it would have been a phenomena had these players been a part of that team but they are not that is in the past but yes as human beings have this habit to cling to the past i will not cling to the past in this context i will say that even if the current hockey team is not able to secure a gold in the olympics that is a big if 
if the Olympics start or if during the next World Cup which happens in 2023 in India, this team can go all the way. If the Hockey Pro League starts in the next couple of months, depending on how the International Hockey Federation and the Hockey Associations of various countries adapt to the current situation and allow their players to train, the Indian hockey team can go all the way as far as securing a medal in this tournament is concerned. In the spirit of having an alternate universe and being outrageous, let's look at what would be the cricket team for the 20 over World Cup if it happens. The 15 players who would be a part of this World Cup. It would be led by Manpreet Singh. The openers would be Sandesh Jingan and Rohit Sharma. The fourth spot in the team would be taken by Sunil Chetri. Number fifth spot would be taken by Harmanpreet Singh. Sixth spot, the goalkeeper slash the wicketkeeper would be a choice between Shrijesh and Gurpreet Singh. Seven would be, let's include another cricket player and give solace to Hardik Pandya. Number eight would be flanked by another upcoming football player in Jackie Chand Singh. Number nine, let's give opportunity to another cricket player in Bumrah. Number ten would be Kotajit Singh. As far as the 11th player is concerned, I would allow my listeners to add in a name. And now they would be incensed that a few players are missing who according to them are iconic. But that is the very reason I skipped on a few players because they have been there long enough and maybe we deserve not to include them and give more chance to sports which we have not given the kind of respect they deserve. Hope you enjoyed this unique episode. This ends episode number 209 on the 18th of May 2020. For more awesome content, tune in to the next episode of the weekly show with Aditya.